Hey everyone, this is Ryan Perry. Um, just winding back down from the uh, 2019 Fishing Expo in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, it was an incredible year. Um, this year, the, the swim bait scene here is exploding. It's exploding everywhere. Um, and that was very prevalent. Uh, we had tons and tons of guys from Swimbait Underground, uh, Swimbait Universe, just a lot of people there. And, and, and it was great to see the community come together, that many people all there. Um, and we, I mean, I was just talking swim baits the whole time. I was working in the booth with Mike Buka alongside Johnny Ellis and Russ Hamilton. It was a blast. Uh, and what became clear to me is that uh, people have a lot of questions about bluegill swim baits. They buy them and don't have success or this or that. Um, and, and for years people have been messaging me on Facebook and or Instagram asking about tips on bluegill swim baits. So I'm going to do a video on my top five all-time favorite swim baits in a gill pattern, gill profile, and then uh, I'm going to give you my top three scenarios of when to throw those so that, you know, I can help you have some success, especially if you're new. Um, this should really fast track that learning curve. So let's get into it. All right. So top five gill baits. This took me a whole lot of thinking. Um, I really had to, I made a list of all the qualities of a bait, um, what's worked for me, what hasn't and uh, had to create my top five in a way that I really felt was not biased because you know I, I've field tested for a lot of guys I have, uh, have a lot of friends out there that are bait makers so this list I brought to you is just purely um, results what you get how how fishes and let's kick it off number one bluegill swim bait in my opinion you need to own anywhere you live uh, the Matt Lures Magnum Stronggill 7.5 inches, it's 4.3 ounces. Uh, it's a simple, straight retrieve bait. You know, it does your trick 180s. Um, I don't do that to fish a whole lot. Uh, I do it with glide baits to some success, but usually not straight retrieve baits. Now, it, like I said, it, it was hard to to pick the number one bait. There's it closely right behind it. All all the top five baits are, are baits you really do need to have. You don't need to have a whole tremendous amount of baits, but you do need some different baits for different scenarios. And once you've shown your fish some of these baits, I like to have variants of those, you know, you never know which one they're going to prefer that day. I mean, I've caught some, caught some really nice fish with this bait, and it's a bait that I can truly see myself catching a double digit on. But really, this is a bait that works everywhere. It'll work in California in your most pressured crystal clear waters. It'll work in your pressured waters in Florida. It'll get bit in Maine. It'll get bit in Michigan. It'll get bit in Wisconsin. It'll get bit in Washington State. I would kill to go back to Washington State and be throwing this thing, because I know very few guys are. So let's move on to the number two bait. Number two bait closely followed behind Sly Guy. This bait is incredible. The, the look of this bait is just epic. Um, I lost the 8-9 pounder on this in October. I really would have liked to have caught that fish. Made a cast out over a tree. A real, real long cast and this tree I've, I've fished it hundreds of times probably and I don't think I've caught any big fish off of it yet. it was it fell down two years ago well this cast she was there uh, nice eight nine pounder somewhere in that range she had the big white rings on her eyes so you know I get bit way out and I'm grinding this fish in and I look down to get my net as she's getting closer to the boat I forgot my net so I'm like all right that's all right I'm just gonna have to do this the old school way I wait till the fish parallels the boat, I start to yank on her and I turn her and I get my hand down there and she's in my, the second she touched my hand, this bait went whew, and out she goes and I was just, anyway, I'm probably, I, I can see myself sticking a double digit on this. Um, this will get bit anywhere. Um, a lot of, the, the way I fish this a lot of the time, um, any kind of gill glide bait, I'm just kind of a slow retrieve and I'll give it a directional change and then I'll give it a directional change and then I'll keep going. Um, you know, when your water's over 80 degrees, I might be fishing it faster and killing it and more directional changes, but that's, that's pretty much it. I usually don't do the same retrieve twice. I mean, I just kind of, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be methodical about where I'm casting to and bringing the bait to, but the retrieve, I'll just keep experimenting. If I see something like really catching my eye, like I caught four fish that day, 
um, on that retrieve. Obviously, I'm going to repeat that retrieve, but a lot this thing just gets bit. Just fish it. Um, no wrong way to fish it. Any of these um, gill glides, they're going to hel helicopter. It's the shape of the bait. It's a, it's a frisbee that you're throwing, you know, especially if there's wind, it's going to helicopter. So I highly recommend personally, you can use a snap if you want. I don't like snaps. I like split rings. Owner hyperwire split ring to a spro at the 80 pound barrel swivel. That'll just keep the line twist down for you. So you're not uh, wasting time trying to get all the twists out of your line. And your, la your line will last longer uh, if you take care of it. On to number three, Mike Buka's new bowl glide. Uh, it's awesome. It has it has a much different swim than the Sly Guy, um, and it's kind of hard to describe without showing you in the water. <clears throat> this thing gets bit, man. Um, Phil from Get Bit Customs, Phil Jargon, painted this one in a uh, crappie pattern for me, and uh, it it swims so great. You know, just little tiny little real um, pops, and it's just darting side to side and uh, when, you, when you guys get one of these you'll see what I mean by it has a, a different action it has an action of its own um, a lot of that's due to the way the joints are cut um, killer killer bait I also realized that I did not give the specs on the Sly Guy the Sly Guy is 7.5 inches it's 4.5 ounces the bull gill is 7 inches and it's 3.8 ounces so you can throw this on a little bit lighter of a rod um, both of those glide baits, I like 25 pound Seaguar and Vizx. I think that's a great line for glide baits. And uh, let's move on to number four. Number four was a very, very tough decision to make. I caught my first 10 on a swim bait on this very bait. Still going. I've had to sharpen the hook twice. Other than that, still going. Burrito bait skill. Matt Lures hammer tail. Two killer, killer options for bottom bouncing or suspended fish or skipping docks. The reason why Burrito gets the win in this category is because it's made of silicone. It's, it's going to last longer. Um, Gail Butch Brown rigged this one for me when he sent it to me and uh, I'm actually really liking that option. I, I bought the same stuff to do this way with the rest of the ones I have. Um, this thing, I mean, it you can throw it, let it hit bottom and rip wrap and some real nasty stuff and just keep your rod tip 9, 10 o'clock. You'll get it back. Um, and get it through that stuff. I prefer, you know, to have two hook points out. Um, I think Gail, who makes this from Burrito Baits, actually prefers one hook out a lot of the time. So that's all about personal preference. There's, you got to find out what works for you, right? And this is a five and three quarter inch length, 2.8 ounces. On to number five. This was also pretty tough, um, pretty torn between the three baits, really. 9 inch MS Slammer. Uh, Mike Buka also has a new gill wake out that is incredible. It has a knocker in it. I've had some nice fish hit this. But I've had, I've caught a ton, ton of fish over 6 pounds on this one. Um, the only reason mine doesn't look like all those guys where, you know, it's nothing but wood is because the second I'm done fishing these, I dry it out and I put fingernail hardener over it. Um, I, per, I like my baits look pretty. I don't give crap what anyone has to say about that that's my own preference that's what gives me confidence but the 9 inch ms slammer is accounted for hundreds if not thousands of giant fish um when i first moved to washington man they were eating this thing up it was great i don't fish top water as much i've just come to the conclusion that my odds are best subsurface trying to catch double digit fish so Still a great option anywhere. Summertime, um, when largemouth are on beds, if, you know, I don't get a lot of time to fish. So if they're on beds, I'm fishing. If I want to be throwing a swim bait, this is a hard option to beat. Make a long cast, you know, make sure the fish don't know you're there. Make, make a long cast over these flats and just work it slow with, you know, I, a lot of the times I just work this, throw it out, smash it down three times, let it sit. Smash it down three times. You want that tail to be kicking, splashing water. That's when you know it's working right. Um, I've caught a few um, swimming it down or swimming it back to the boat, but um, most most of the time, uh, you know, outside of bed fishing, like docks, getting as close to docks, getting as close to those laydowns, getting as close to that wall of rock, whatever it is, whatever the cover is, get as close as you can to it, and just you just want to piss the fish off. Essentially, um, that's what I feel like happens with how violently they. Just destroy this thing or sometimes your biggest fish 
when they come up and eat this thing, it's like the bait just vanished. Just, when you see that, reel up and smack them hard, because it's a big one. It's a big one. This bait is killer. Now, I, I've, I've fished a bulk, big bulk majority of every good gill bait out there. Um, so, um, if, you know, if, if a maker's bait's not on here, that's not to say that it, it's not a killer bait. It's just, this is what's worked for me. Um, also over the years, I, I've really refined how many baits I'm fishing. So, you know, I really have sold off a lot of stuff over the years and I really, really focus on the stuff that's worked for me. Um, some honorable mentions of baits that I have fished that I don't maybe either have in the room for the video or whatever. Um, toxic baits, the Wade Hog, that thing is sick. Uh, I got to get another one. That's on my list. Um, the Hiroshima Customs Godzilla, that bait has some huge drawing power. It's it's a big bait. Uh, it has a really stable glide, killer bait. Um, let's see what else. Uh, big Game Customs. He has a swath of killer baits. Um, I've only fished one of his, but I've never owned one. Uh, but I mean, I see a lot of pictures that 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 stuff works. Piz Customs has some awesome gills too. I uh, fished a few of my buddies. I just don't happen to be in possession of any. So there's the top five gill baits um, that. If anything, you know, grab that top three. That, but I mean, mm, these these are five killer killer gill baits. They will work for you.